Hey everybody, Walty Wanders, buckle up, strap in. We got a hard hitting pull, no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. It's gonna give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Welcome to the show. I hope you're all doing great. So here we go again. Let's get back on the moto merry-go-round as we examine the good, the bad, and maybe even a little bit of the ugly. Not the ugly, Walty. Only do rainbows and sunshine. No, 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 no. Somebody's got to blow apart these hard-to-tackle topics, and we know lamestream moto media is not going to do it for us, so let's go ahead and get in front of this one ourselves. Man, I love this stuff. This stuff's so fun. Now, here's the thing. Team USA has become a little bit, or the whole MX of Nations is a little bit watered down. We have it every year. It's the same. I mean, it's a, it's not as hyped as it used to be, so a lot of the teams and the riders now aren't as pumped to go. At the time of this recording, we have offered Danger Boy Deegs. We, the offer's on the table. You can represent Team USA. Do you want to go? No response yet. Crickets. We've got crickets at the time of this video. He hasn't responded. Now, we've heard reports. We know a lot of teams do not want to go through the hassle and the expense to send, send riders over. Right now, we got Sexton, and Eli has given the nod to AP, which I believe is actually a classy move. I think this is a classy move for, for um, Eli to give it to AP. First of all, AP is just, you know, he's Ricky Bobby. He, he represents, you know, Americana in its purest form. Not that Eli doesn't, because Eli is definitely a more polished and, and probably a better example of, you know, Americana on one hand, but I think AP on another is. And from a racing standpoint, that was Eli's thing. It's like, hey, listen, AP's proven himself all year. He's been more consistent. I'm giving the nod to AP. I'm withdrawing my um, willingness to go uh, do it. Now, I'm sure he would be more than happy to do it, but you know, if, if it doesn't really make sense, why do it? And so that's probably why we're hearing Danger Boy has been offered this position to go. My guess is he's probably going to take it, but I don't know if he's necessarily going to take it. Well, it's going to be multi-layered, in my opinion, because if I'm Danger Boy's camp, if I'm even Brian Deegs himself, I'm like, listen, Danger, bro, Here's the deal, dude. Uh, we have to think big right now. It's time for us to go global. That is what we want to do. With Danger Boy wants this is an opportunity to make his brand not that it isn't already, but even further stamp himself as an icon in the sport by going global. And so this is going to have more of a global market appeal. So for, from that standpoint, you only help the kid and his brand. And because he sells merch and, and YouTube clicks, this is a good thing for Danger Boy and the family. I'm pretty confident we will see them accept this. And here's the thing. We already know he's pretty much calling the shots over at Star Racing Yamaha. If he wants to go, the star, you know, they'd probably pay. For, I bet you the Deegans would cover the expenses themselves to put Danger Boy over there and get him that kind of publicity. But because I believe they are calling some heavy-duty shots over there. Right now, I believe the face of Star Racing is, in fact, Danger Boy Deeks. I think he's bigger than Tomac. I think he's bigger than Webb. I think he's bigger than anybody else they got over there, hands down. With that. I mean, he's winning championships. He's winning championships, and he's coming up at the front end of his career while the other guys are at the tail he is the guy. Whether and I know there's a rumor mill. I know there's a rumor mill that he's potentially going somewhere else. He's gonna probably. It's gonna all come down to money, 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 money. But it's also gonna be smart. I'm sure he's not gonna just go ride some bike that he doesn't feel like he can win on for one big payout. He might stay at Star. But the reality is this: we know he's calling some shots over there. Christian Craig. Rumors have it going back to Star. Awesome. Love Christian Craig. I met him a long time ago, and he was on Troy Lee Designs KTM back in the day on a track walk. And Danger Boy has got Christian Craig back on Star Racing, I believe. Danger Boy already hangs out with the Craigs constantly, so you know there was some influence there to get that deal to happen. I would expect. So if Danger Boy Deegs wants to go ride MX of Nations, Star Racing is absolutely going to appease accommodate and help that happen guaranteed 100 percent. i believe personally we will see danger boy take the deal to go represent team usa and it'll be multi-layered one because the kid wants to do it it's a big opportunity it would be nice to have that on your resume but you also need the win danger i mean you got to at least have a podium it's got to be a podium you need the trophy in your trophy room just to complete the ensemble of all the 
all the championships that you've won or competed in. And this is a big one to be able to put up there. I would imagine someday down the road, maybe you want to do it as a 450 guy, but I really don't think 250 or 450 in NX of Nations, as long as you're part of the team, it really matters. So this is your chance to have donations under your belt. And final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, as a moto guy, I want to see you not only win on the track, off the track. Understand the waters you're swimming in now, shark infested. Danger boy, welcome back to the swimming pool. It appears you've been offered a chance to represent Team USA. My guess is you're taking it to make your brand more global. This is, I'm sure you guys are talking about this. We want to go global with Danger Boy. Here's an opportunity to scratch that itch and go compete in MX of Nations. So Star Racing Yamaha, get ready to write a big check because Danger wants to go. My guess is he's going. In the meantime, I'll be here to blow the lid off it every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to follow me there. Along with the links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to love the next video. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars. God bless, and I'll see you on the next video.